is a PhD candidate at York University in Toronto where she focuses on Iraqi affairs and Ruba has been following the grassroots protest movement in Iraq for some years now. Lovely to have you with us Ruba. Uh, our colleague Martin uh, was saying there that these young people are looking for a new Iraq but what would that look like? Thank you for having me. Um, the youth are leading the protest movement um, and they want a new Iraq in the sense that they want an Iraq that is uh, not ruled by kleptocrats and corrupt leaders who, serve, who support foreign interests and not the Iraqi people's interests. So are the, why aren't they calling for elections, for example, um, you know, instead of uh, perhaps this pushback against the Iranian embassy, which we can talk about in a moment. Uh, would that be enough if there was another set of uh, elections in the near, near future? The, those protesting have lost faith in the electoral system. Um, they have voted uh, eagerly in the past, but in the latest election, the participation rate was very low, 40% or lower, we're still not certain. And so the demonstrations are a clear rejection of the system at large because these protesters know that an, an, an upcoming election would mean the recycling, so to speak, of uh, the same faces, the same politicians, the same, same corrupt, uh, corrupt people. So, so then, Ruba, how do they expect to achieve this new Iraq? So they're effectively calling for the dissolution of the parliament and the current government. They want a new election, one that is um, free of those very same uh, persons that I just described, and that is uh, supervised by the UN and other international neutral uh, objective observers. Um, talk to me about Iran. Uh, some of our viewers will have seen those pictures of the Iranian consulate in flames. Why is that push? Why are they pushing back, particularly back against Iran? Uh, to be clear about the Iranian uh, consulate, there are some uh, observations from people on the ground who say that it was not protesters who, mm -hmm. in fact, uh, lit the consulate on fire. It was uh, militias and parties who are interested in sabotaging the protest movement from within. Uh, there are many reports about uh, militias and parties trying to sabotage the protests. Uh, so this is one such act which can be seen as such. However, with that said, a good majority of the protesters are uh, experiencing anger towards Iran in particular amongst other uh, foreign entities and governments uh, who interfere in Iraqi politics and who have helped uh, establish the corrupt system as well as maintain it over the past 16 years. So there's actually a lot of actors that they have uh, grievances with, whether yes. it's their own government or indeed others. And just briefly before I let you go, Ruba, um, how have you seen if you have these protests change over these months? The protests have largely been peaceful, organized, and uh, in fact, they're way more organized than many would have you think. They're very centralized. Uh, Tahrir Square in Baghdad seems to be the headquarters of the movement. Um, and the nature remains the same. Many are worried about um, a turn to violence, especially after what happened in Nasiriyah overnight, in Basra as well, um, and Najaf now. Uh, people are trying to um, argue against the use of violence, against the use of arson. Um, the protests remain peaceful at large, and um, the Marja'iyah or the Hausa in Najaf is also trying to support the protesters and maintain the peaceful nature. So we'll wait and see what happens. Ruba, thank you so much.